Lately I've been thinking a lot about coming back here to Silver Ridge Peaks for a hunt, but every time I hunt this map, I pretty much do the same thing. I'll check like the lakes over here for Pronghorn, I'll check for Mountain Goat up here, and then maybe Mule Deer down in this area, and that tends to be it. And I wanted to just do something different, and we're gonna go through this route. I basically wanna go through like all these lakes that I normally don't hunt up around that area, and just kinda see what we can find. And if we're gonna do it differently, I figured we'd go all in and bring the 4570. That's the only gun for big game I have. The other weapon I have, of course, is the 22 for turkey, and we're just gonna kind of see how this goes. We'll see if we can find anything cool. I normally don't hunt Silver Ridge Peaks super early in the morning, so I'm curious what's gonna be out here. I actually hadn't even thought of it, but I think Elk would just be leaving their drink zone right now. Because we heard that bugle. I don't know if it was from these guys or what actually bugled, but that back one's actually pretty good. And I don't know what to expect from the 4570, but... I know we had to put a better lead on it because it's a little bit of a slower firing round than some of the other weapons we normally hunt with, but he is dropping. I think we got him. It's just going to be probably a lot of tracking in this video because, you know, using a different weapon than one that's a little maybe underpowered for some of these species, it's just going to happen. But I am actually kind of curious where that hit because I think it's lungs. And it was pretty much right in the center of the lungs, so that's a decent kind of like test case to know roughly where we need to lead them if they're just kind of walking at that range. 382 is not a bad start, about 100 below diamond, but honestly it was a max weight SMO one, potentially good for respawns, and we can just get on our way up to, actually I wanted to go to this lake, so this is again a place I don't go, I have that tent over there. Kind of curious to see what's going to be between here and the tent, because I just normally would fast travel to the tent. So apparently, at least like early in the morning like this, Having that tent there is actually pretty good because there was literally nothing between that last lake and this one. So probably could have saved some time by fast traveling, but that's a decent ram there. I don't know if level threes can even make gold. I think they can. I'm pretty sure we just hard shot that guy, so that's not too bad. Not going to have to track him. There was another ram. They do all kinds of weird stuff where they slow down. Just... Try to get that guy through the back of the neck. I don't know if we're going to hit the skull because of the angle, but I guess it'll be good for respawns. We've been hunting them a bit in Classic lately, and it got me thinking that I'd maybe like to get some more in Call of the Wild. But I am curious to see... Ooh, we did get underneath the skull there, so that's going to give us the full score, and he was just a silver. Gold is 132, so this guy had a chance. His estimate went up to 140. I'm really not sure. I think he's going to be in that same area. Yeah, 122, so not golds, but for potential respawns and now we're gonna head up through here to this little lake and again I would normally just fast travel to the tent so we'll see what we find I really hope this doesn't end up being a waste of time because it could take a long time to find this guy but we have a max weight black bear track and actually it's suddenly just gone to just now so I think we're gonna be okay you can see on the map I tracked him in like a super straight line and a lot of times when you get that straight line you just can't find them because I think what happened was like we changed the time to 5 a.m. to start this video and he was somewhere on the map, and that time change made him warp. I think that's what happens, and then they leave tracks as they do it, but I think we're going to get a chance to get eyes on this guy fairly shortly. I don't think that would be him. It's nice and open here, though. I'm not sure if he's just well hidden. Ooh. Okay. Didn't actually think it would be legendary. Now, he's 21 to 23, which means he's not going to be max score. And that's got me a little bit worried that he might end up being a troll, but you never know. Now we're sitting here with a 4570 and a legendary black bear to him broadside. He's about 130 away. I'd like him to actually sit still. I think we might alert him just again because we have such a slow moving bullet. I'm not as confident with moving shots as I normally would be. And we're going to end up getting closer to 100. Got a bear running through here too. So I expect him to go back onto all fours, and then probably do that again. A lot of times they stand up twice. Maybe he's not going to, he's going back nervous. And actually he's coming this way, so maybe we'll just get hidden. Quickly check on that one because I knew it was a male, but we'll worry about our nine. I mean, he's moving slow enough and kind of walking towards us. I think we can get it. Should be kind of like right in front of the shoulder. Hopefully single lung he's dropping and I can't see 
anything we could have possibly hit that would make him drop that fast other than lungs. So we should have him. It's just going to be, does he want to cooperate and not be a troll? Because, like I said, the score estimate kind of worries me. Definitely got vitals, so we're going to be good on that front. It's all going to come down to the trophy rating. And when it says up to 23, it can go all the way to, like, say, 23.99. That doesn't mean he's going to be below 23. It could be anywhere, like, in that 23 range. But 22.8 is diamond. So... We're going to probably have to hope for somewhere towards the top end of that estimate. And he is 23.3. I actually didn't think we'd get anything all that special doing this, but pretty much right away. Single lung on a 23.3 diamond black bear. Now that'll be the third biggest one we've killed on the new scoring system. And I don't really have room for it in the main lodge, but I've been working on like a second lodge here and there. So that's probably where we're going to end up taking him, but... Still, that's really cool. Not a color phase one. That's what I was hoping for initially when I got that track, but not bad. And actually, it didn't take us too far off course. We're a little bit to the east of the lake I wanted to get to, but we're not like way past it, so we can still go and check that area. I had no idea the mountain lions drank at this lake. And there's our level five black bear again, but yeah, just two females. I don't think there's much point shooting them. So we'll just go ahead and take this little elk that's been back here. I kind of knew that elk fed up in this area, but I thought it was usually a herd, so... Not really sure what the deal with that is, but... Quick neck shot so we don't have to track them. But I was actually kind of thinking that it would be kind of from here on out that would be most interesting. Considering we just shot a diamond black bear, I'm not sure if we can match that, but... Going up, like, towards this lake, I know all around it, there's, like, elk feed zones and mule deer feed zones and... There should be black bear up there too, so I don't know what we're going to run into, but we uh, got into a pretty good pace there with the black bear, so hopefully we can keep it up. Alright, so round two of this. I just picked up his track, and I saw the max weight in the common. I was really hoping he might be like a max weight, some kind of rare, but I guess I've just got legendary animals hanging out in all these places that I never go to, but... I'm trying to, because mountain lions and pumas aren't really that much fun to try to track. They tend to just go off forever before they ever turn around and go back to their zone. So I want to kind of do what we just did with the black bear. And ultimately, we did it by accident, but I just want to hang with this guy until we get somewhere in the open where we can see him, like, stop and turn around. And hopefully just get the shot there, because I really think we can spend an hour tracking him and not get him if we take it slow. So hopefully this ends up saving us time. Man, I'm tempted. Because a mountain lion's not exactly something I'm really worried about messing up, I'm tempted to take that shot, because I think we can do it. Let's try it. Ooh. Well, try it on the other way. I think we nailed that, because Spinal Cord would have insta-dropped him. The only thing I can possibly imagine that being is, like, double lung or maybe double lung liver, because I feel like we didn't get the perfect lead. But... I mean, had he been even a dark red or, like, some uncommon fur type, I probably wouldn't have done it. But I've got a ton of Diamond Mountain Lions, so not super worried about specifically saving a random common one. Got a bunch of mule deer coming up through here. That's not a bad buck. Would like to see if there's any others, but maybe we can get a bonus kill? Man, I thought we had that. I think... Maybe being 0 for 150 might have had something to do with it. Because I really thought we got that, like, a neck shot like we did on the Bighorn at the beginning, but... I'm gonna say 4570 will bring him down. And especially since we have something to do here looking at this sliding mountain line. Is that normal? I'm kind of curious to see how far he's gonna slide, but we're gonna not stay here all day with that. That's a big diamond. Actually, it's my biggest diamond mountain line ever. At 39.7? What's going on? Go to areas I never go to. And getting cool stuff. We actually pretty much did that perfectly. Had a bit of a, like, downward angle on him, so keeping that high in the lungs was good. And that... See, I don't know what to do with that now. That's actually a really good one. Like, my best diamond mount line before this was 39.4, I want to say. But it was a dark red. And I like to keep that variety in the trophy lodge, so... 
I don't know if I want to, like, take the dark red out for the bigger one. I'm going to have to think about that to the rest of this hunt. And our mule deer did die. I want to see. Where did we hit that? It was right in the top of the head. And actually, I don't think being zeroed for 50, it would have brought it, like, down closer to the neck. But I don't think we quite had that. So that's not a big deal. But I still want to get around, like, the rest of the lake. Because that's what I was trying to do before I got the mountain lion track. Just go around the end of the lake and get up to this tiny one up here because I know elk and bighorn hang out in that area but it definitely worked well I don't know what's going on with the graphics up there but it worked well to go around this side I was kind of planning on ending at this lake and I really thought it might have something interesting because it's mule deer drink time now and I've actually had a lot of them here and I've shot a diamond elk here before but there's just kind of one lonely bull feeding over here but We'll take him and get a second shot in there to bring him down a little more quickly, and hopefully at least we can go somewhere else real quick and go for mule deer, because I actually plan on getting at least one buck here, but there's just nothing. I don't know how that second shot got lungs at all, because I thought we hit him, like, in the intestines, but we'll try to figure out a lake that maybe we don't go to for mule deer and go there, because I don't want to go to the same ones we always do. Now that I'm looking at the map, though, we tend to cover most of them. I'd say this one down here is the one we covered the least, so that's kind of where we started, but I guess we can end here as well. I don't see any that are very big, but there's actually just a ton of mule deer here. I didn't used to get that many, but I think that guy and this one, which are pretty much the same size, are the biggest two. So we'll go ahead and try to get the front one. I don't think the others are far enough away that they won't hear it. Actually dropped him as well, but yeah, that guy's pretty much the same size and they're all kind of taken off so little bonus mule deer kill I was hoping we might find a four somewhere but honestly kind of nice to see this many are down here I'm not really convinced that mule deer are fixed properly yet I've seen a few more diamonds getting posted here and there but assuming something eventually gets done to where at least they make sense like it just seems like there's not enough diamonds being taken compared to other animals if that ever happens this might be a good place to frequent I hadn't even considered the fact that we hit him in the heart, because that's not even what I tried to do, but we'll take a little bonus heart shot, and we're going to head back to the trophy lodge, and i got to figure out what to do with the mountain lion, and then either way, we're going to have one mountain lion and one black bear in the second lodge as well. I really think, because he's that big, we just have to have him here in the main lodge, because I started thinking about it. I'm not sure I've ever killed a diamond puma that big, and they've been in the game for like two years, so since he's that high scoring... I wanted to have him here in the main lodge because he was 39.775, I think, in the trophy manager, so almost 39.8. But I've been wanting to do this for a while anyway, put the albino blacktail here because we have the puma in a multi-mount back here with a diamond blacktail. It kind of just adds a little more variety, but it made it nice. I don't have to dismantle the mountain lion multi-mount with the other diamond blacktail. And we'll go and set that up with the black bear in the second lodge. And for now, just to make it simple, because this entire lodge eventually is going to need to be kind of reworked. I just put those two in the entrance, but I'm really happy with the black bear. Again, I want to get a color face diamond one eventually. I think on the new system, that's our fifth common diamond black bear, but every time I see him, I just really like him. You don't see a ton of level nine bears, so it's definitely cool to get one of those, like, no matter what. And other than the fact that I kind of wish this multi mount was turned around, I actually quite like this here. So that's the dark red mountain lion we killed. I want to say, like, within the first couple of days of Silver Ridge's release on a stream. And he finally got replaced there in the main lodge. But honestly, like I said, 39.7, that's pretty big. So I'm happy with what we got. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.